Adding a schema to a subject is a unique task in itself, but it's also an essential part of the report's workflow in setting up high school reports. A schema determines the what and how of what will be reported on in a subject. You will have picked this up if you've seen the other videos on setting up high school reports. Adding a schema to a subject is a setup action, so navigate to Academic Report Setup, then Faculty Schemas, then Overview. In this example, you can see that some work has begun, but there's still quite a bit left to do. We won't complete all of it, but we'll do enough for you to make a start on your own situation. It also happens to be a New South Wales example. Conceptually, the process is the same for other state jurisdictions. Notice that you can see the faculties, schemas and available subjects. Remember that what we're doing here is adding a schema to a subject. It's worth emphasising here that it's not an overall schema. This is a faculty schema and is particular to what is being reported on within a subject. We can add a schema in two ways, one by one or with the bulk create faculty schemas wizard. When entering one by one, you first need to view the faculty. Let's try English. Then the Create New Schema button becomes available. To create bulk schemas, click back to the overview. From here you can either use the Bulk Create Faculty Schemas button or the Schema Creation Wizard. They'll both take you to the same place. If we go back to English for a moment, you can see that three schemas have been assigned to three subjects within English. Let's take a closer look at that. Here you can see the schemas that have been assigned. Before we go too much further, let's just revisit what a faculty schema actually is and does. Take a look at this note here. A faculty schema determines things like what scales to use, strands, outcomes, whether to include effort and comments, and what about a markbook, and what classes to assign to the schema. Let's take a look at this schema. Click Edit. On this page we can see the various details associated with the schema. Straight away you can see there's quite a bit going on here. Notice the tabs across the top. We'll stay in this first one for this video. It's a good idea to name your schema very clearly. In this case, it's clearly marked as 7 English Schema, as opposed to something like just English Schema. Notice also that the menu on the left gives you an idea of where you are. It's a good idea to keep this in mind. We are currently working on a Year 7 English Schema in the English faculty. Moving down, we can see further details associated with the schema. These include the subject that the schema relates to, the stage, a description, which classes it applies to, we'll cover that in a separate video, how it will be assessed, things like attitudes to learning, and of course, comments. Each of these will be particular to your school situation. But remember, in this video, we are only looking at adding a schema to a subject. I'll click close for now, since we're just having a look through this one. Then click Create a new schema. Let's make this one for Year 9. The subject will remain the same, but now this will be Stage 5. Further details will depend on your local situation. Now, saying that might leave you with some unanswered questions. However, they are questions you will need to raise at executive level within your school before finalising some of these details. Click Save. Notice the other tabs that become available. For now, we'll click Close. That takes us back to the page which outlines which schemas are added to the subject, in this case, English. So, we have added a schema to a subject, but no classes are assigned. We'll cover that separately.